Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the 14th part in this series where we are building a personal dashboard app using Angular. In this video, we're going to be putting the to-do items into their own component, and then we're going to be generating them dynamically based on the data that's in the to-do service. All right, so let's go to the terminal here and let's do ng generate component or nggc for short. And then the name of the component, which will be to do dash item. Okay. Okay. And now we see that we have this folder here to do item. Let's go to uh, the template here. All right. And uh, let's go here. And then we just put app dash to do dash item there. Let's save that and go back to the application. And if we look here, we can see that to do item works is showing up there. Cool. All right. So now let's go back to the code here and let's grab this code here for the to do item. Let's grab that. Let's cut that and let's go to the to do item component template. Let's get rid of that and paste it in there. Okay. So I've just moved the code that was there into there. Now I'm going to save this and save this and go back to the application. All right. So now we don't see that one that was completed anymore. Uh, because it's actually here. So it is there, but we can't really see it how it was before because it's now unstyled, right? So what we can now do is we can go back here and um, let's just comment this out for now. All right, let's save that and go back to application. Okay, and now we only see that one and we can now actually go and style this, right? So all of the styles are in the todos.component.css and we should now move them um, um, all of the relevant styles should be moved to the uh, to the style sheet for the to-do item component. So let's go over here and go all the way down here. All right, so this whole block here has to be cut and save that, close this, go to the to-do item style sheet, this one here, and paste that all in there. If we save this now and go back to the application, now we can see that it's now styled, cool. All right, that's pretty cool. Let's now go back here. And what we can now do is we can make the um, make the text of the to-do dynamic. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's go to the component class. All right, so we wanna go in here and we actually want to uh, set up an input property, right? So that we can actually um, receive a to-do object into this component. So this will be of type to-do. Okay, cool. All right, so if we save this now, we now actually have access to this to do in the template, right? So if we go here, we can get rid of the, the to do text that's here and instead use string interpolation to um, put in the to do dot text. Okay, so let's save that now. And if we go back to the application, we will see that it's empty and that's because we're not actually passing anything in. So if we go to the to do's component template, we can go here and pass in a to do. Um, um, but before we do that, let's actually go to uh, the component class here and uh, let's inject the to do service private to do's service private to do service and the off type to do service. Okay, and then here we can actually create a to do's um, property here. So to do array and then here we can do this dot to do service or um, this dot to do's is equal to this dot to do service dot this dot to do service dot get to do's. Okay, if we save this now and go back to the template here, uh, we now have access to the to do's array. So what we could do is we could actually use an ng4, ng4 uh, let to do of to do's, and then we can actually use property binding on to do and set this equal to to do. Okay, cool. So here we are property binding to the input property called to do. And that's because we called this, if we go here, we call it to do, and we're setting it to the to do object of the current iteration of this ng4 that's looping over the, the to do's array. Okay, so let's save that, go back to the application, and we don't see anything. And that's because we haven't got anything inside the to do's array inside the service. So here we actually, um, trying to uh, retrieve the to do's array from the service and inside the service, if we go to the service here, it hasn't got any data, right? So here we can actually put in some test data. So this will be an array and uh, here we can do new to do and pass in some text. This is a test 
And uh, let's save this and go back to the application. And now we see this is a test. Awesome. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so let's go and try and create a few more. Save that. Uh, oh, put a comma there. Save that. Go back to application. Cool. All right, so that's pretty cool. Let's go back to the code here. Okay, and let's go back to the to-do item component .html. And we can see here that we've um, we've uh, always got this. Okay, and here we can see that we have the completed class here. And uh, at the moment, we always have the have this class on the to-do item. So um, what we want to do is we only want the completed class to be applied when the to-do.completed property is true. So let's actually remove it from here. Okay, let's save this and go back to the application. Okay, so now um, these aren't completed. Let's now go back to our, our code and uh, let's go to um, the to-do service. And um, and um, let's just go to the constructor here, and I guess we could just kind of do this dot to dos uh, at index zero dot completed is equal to true. Okay, so the first one of these, which is this one, should be completed true. Okay, so let's save this and go back to the application. Okay, and they aren't completed. That's because we actually have to go and conditionally apply the the completed styles to the to do item. So what we can do here is we can do uh, property binding on class dot completed. Okay. So what this will do is it will uh, apply the completed class based on what we put here. So here we can do to do dot completed. Okay. Okay. So let's save that now and let's go back to the application. And now we see that this is completed. Awesome. All right, so let's go back to the code here and let's go to the to-do service and let's try and do the same thing for uh, the second element. So this one here, let's save that, go back to the application and now they're both completed. Great. All right, so now let's go back here and let's actually get rid of this. All right. Um, save that, go back to the application. Cool. All right, so the next thing we can do is we could make these clickable and um, when we click on them, they should toggle the completed state, right? So, okay, so when we click on the to do item, it should toggle the completed state. All right, so let's go back to our code here and uh, let's go to the to do item component class. And um, okay, and actually, we actually want to listen to the click event in the to do's component, right? So, what we can do is we can, um, all right, so here we can use uh, event binding and we can bind to the click event. And here we can say, and here we can say toggle completed. Okay, and then here we can actually just pass in the to do. Okay, cool. All right, so now we can save this and we now actually have to go and create this method, right? So if we go to the, the to do's component, component class, we can go here and create the toggle completed method. All right. And it takes in a to do object. So let's do to do to do. And then here we actually have to use the to do service to update the to do. So here we can do this dot to do service dot update to do. And we'll, okay, and we can pass in to do dot ID. And then all right, and then here we can pass in the updated to do fields and we want to update the completed field. Okay. And it should be set to um, the opposite of what it currently is, right? So we can actually do not to do dot completed. Cool. All right, so let's um, save this now and let's go back to the application and let's see if this works. Awesome. So now we are able to toggle the completed state on click. Awesome. Cool. All right. So that's pretty good. Um, 
The next thing we can do is we can actually work on the add button, right? So like we have here, we want to create an add button uh, here as well. So let's go back to the code and uh, I guess we can close this and we can close everything but the to do's component.html. Okay, so um, let's go um, and actually this we can actually get rid of now. So let's get rid of this. Okay. And um, and what we can now do is we can go here and we can create the add button. Let's actually go to uh, the notes.component.html because we basically have the same add button. So let's just copy this and let's close this and paste it in there. All right. Uh, let's save that now and go back to the application. And there we go. So it's pretty much the same. The only thing that's different is uh, we actually have some styles um, that are in the notes. Uh, dot component dot CSS for the add button uh, for the icon. Let's just copy these over, I guess. Uh, let's close this and let's paste them in here. All right, let's save that, go back to the application, and now they look the same. Cool. All right, so uh, the next thing we can do is we can work on uh, creating the add, um, the add to do view. Okay, so um, let's go and do that now. 